back. It's one of the best ways to keep you and your kids healthy this time of year and year round, washing your hands. Yeah, joining us this morning to talk a little bit more about hand washing techniques and best practices, Gunderson Health System registered nurse Jennifer Fleece. Jennifer, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, obviously, hand washing is one of those things that you think <laughs> should be Duh. second nature to everybody. Yeah. Uh, how often are we doing it? Are, we, are people doing it enough? Um, I don't think people are doing it enough. They should be doing it you know, before and after eating, um, after using the bathroom. There are some situations like that where you want to use soap and water as opposed to the hand sanitizer. Okay, and yeah, that's the yeah, debate. Yeah, you, you mentioned you wanted to talk about that debate, and people maybe substitute hand washing mm -hmm. for hand sanitizer, and that's not a good thing. Correct. Hand sanitizer actually kills all of the germs on your hands, but before you eat, after you eat, after using the bathroom, you do want to use soap and water because it actually gets everything off of your hands. Now, there are some myths about hand sanitizer where people think they're very drying to your hands, mm -hmm. but actually they're keeping the natural oils on your hands so that they're not as drying as soap and water, and it actually kills every all the bacteria on your mm -hmm. hands. Okay, that could be key with winter coming up. A lot of people right. saying that yeah. washing your hands so many times uh, can mm -hmm. uh, cause uh, hand drying, but uh, when it comes to how long you should wash your hands, this is another thing <laughs> I feel that people may not yeah. know exactly how long to do it. Right, you want to do it at least 30 seconds, and um, I know we had talked at the break about singing happy birthday. Yeah. That's a very good way to make sure that you're washing your hands long enough. I know that my children um, at the YMCA, they teach them to sing the birthday song when they're washing their hands to make sure they're doing it long enough. So that's key in making sure that you're doing it for enough time. What are some other ways to get your kids to wash your hands? Often I know it's hard, they're on the go, they want to go do other things. How, how can we make sure that our kids are washing our hands? Well, I know for my kids, I actually bring hand sanitizer with me wherever we go so that if we're at the park or something, we can gel our hands before we eat. Um, really just making it a habit with your kids. My boys don't know any different. They've learned that at school, that they need to do it after they use the bathroom, and that's really the key, is just developing that habit young. Yeah, yeah. it might take that conscious effort at first and making sure you yep. remind yourself to do it, and then yeah. it becomes that unconscious and habit. be an example, too. <laughs> yes, exactly. Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. You too, and we'll have a break with a look at what's coming up on Good Morning America.